1972 study looked at whether people succeeded in their New Year's resolutions. They found that 25% of participants had abandoned their resolutions after 15 weeks. In a similar 1989 study, that number had gone down to only one week. The underlying issue is that our goals and expectations are unrealistic. Here are a few simple rules to help you set realistic goals. Don't think that change is easy. Accept from the start that reaching your goal will be tough. Story Shots is proud to bring you this free audiobook summary. Do you want to get access to more free audiobook summaries like this? Subscribe and click the bell button now to get notified each time we upload a new summary. You can also download our free app and enjoy thousands of other summaries of best selling nonfiction books that are available in text, audio, and animated formats. Story Shots has been featured by Apple, Google, and The Guardian as one of the world's best reading and learning apps. Go to getstoryshots.com and download the app today. Happy learning! Life gets busy. Has 13 things mentally strong people don't do been gathering dust on your bookshelf? Instead, learn the key insights now. We're scratching the surface here. If you don't already have the book, get the audiobook for free using the link in the description or the app to learn the juicy details. Story shot summary and analysis of 13 things mentally strong people don't do. Take back your power, embrace change, face your fears, and train your brain for happiness and success, by Amy Morin. Amy Morin's Perspective Amy Morin is a psychotherapist, mental strength trainer, and international best-selling author. She's a highly sought-after keynote speaker who gave one of the most popular TEDx talks of all time. Her books have been translated into more than 30 languages. Amy is a columnist for Inc., Forbes, and Psychology Today. Her articles on mental strength reach more than 2 million readers each month. Story shot number one, mentally strong people don't feel the world owes them anything. No matter how intelligent you are or what life has thrown at you, there is no way to become more deserving of success than anyone else. If a person loses their business and feels indebted, they're inviting more frustration and anger into their life. Mentally strong people can shift their focus away from their debt. Hence, they can help people in need. Mentally strong people keep themselves busy, doing good deeds. If you follow this guidance, you can stop wasting time, stop feeling like you are owed something, and stop resenting other success. Story shot number two, mentally strong people don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. By far, the most harmful drug is self-pity. It is addictive, provides only temporary pleasure, and disconnects people from reality. No one is immune to hard times. However, it is how you react to these situations that is important. Mentally strong individuals do not spend precious time pitying themselves. They replace self-pity with gratitude. Amy Morin provides an example of an American long-distance runner, Marla Runyon. She ran the New York Marathon in a little over two hours. Marla also has a master's degree in education and has written a book. The most impressive aspect of all this is that she is legally blind. The key to her success lies in her refusal to indulge in self-pity. She's always refused to identify her illness as a disability. Rather than dwelling on what her illness took away, she's grateful for what it gave her. In addition, research suggests that developing your gratitude capacity can strengthen you on many levels. In the first place, gratitude improves your physical well-being. A 2003 study found that grateful people suffer less from aches and pains. Story shot number three, mentally strong people don't resent other people's success. When you see a colleague receive a promotion, feelings of envy may come to the surface. While this may be normal, feeling jealous of other success eventually leads to resentment, which can distract you from your path. Instead, overcome your envy of other people's success and learn how to use their success to your benefit. Let's take the example of Milton Hershey. His employee, H.B. Reese, 
began building a rival candy company in the same city while still working in Hershey's chocolate factory. Hershey, however, didn't become angry or resentful. Instead, he gave Reese his full support and allowed Reese to use Hershey's milk chocolate for his experiments. Throughout those experiments, Reese created a peanut buttercup surrounded by Hershey's milk chocolate. Instead of viewing each other's company as competition, the two men celebrated their successes. They used one another's power to their advantage. They supported their strengths, and in the end, they both built thriving businesses. The two men continued to collaborate throughout their lives, and after their death, the two companies finally merged. When people enjoy and celebrate success, they attract other successful people, creating opportunities for collaboration and continued success. Story shot number four, mentally strong people don't give away their power. When you allow your boss to make you feel a certain way, you give them power over how you think, feel, or even behave. No one should have power over your feelings. You should change your daily vocabulary to recognize that the choices you make are yours. Avoid phrases like, he made me mad, or I have to work late today. One of the biggest factors in taking control of your feelings is forgiveness. When you hold on to anger and resentment, you allow others to limit your ability and disrupt your life. Therefore, it's important to forgive others for their wrongdoings and focus back on yourself. Forgiveness is also psychologically beneficial, like gratitude. For instance, when people forgive others, their blood pressure decreases, and their hearts beat more calmly. Additionally, those who practice unconditional forgiveness are likely to live longer lives. Story shot number 5. Mentally strong people don't focus on things beyond their control. When you feel your life is out of control, take out a piece of paper and draw a horizontal line through the middle. In the top section, rate what I can't control. In the bottom section, rate what I can control. When populating the top section, remember you can't control what has happened. However, you can control what you focus on, what things mean, and how you behave. After you've listed the things you can and can't control, rip off the top section. Story shot number 6, mentally strong people don't dwell on the past. Many people feel haunted by their past and the legacy of their families. However, it's possible to find constructive ways to move forward despite one's origins. Take activist and social worker Winona Ward. Born in a small village in Vermont, she grew up with a sexually and physically abusive father. Ward didn't tell anyone about this abuse, but worked hard to get ahead in school and escape her hometown. She got married at 17-year-old and began working as a truck driver with her husband. But while she'd worked hard to free herself, others in her family struggled to do so. For example, Ward discovered that one of her brothers was now abusing his children. Ward decided that something had to change. She went back to university in Vermont and studied every moment of her free time. After significant hard work, Ward managed to get a law degree. With some financial aid, she founded Have Justice Will Travel, a traveling legal service for families in the countryside dealing with domestic abuse problems. Ward's actions show us a vital mindset of mentally strong people. Coming to terms with the past doesn't mean acting as if certain things never happened. You must accept and forgive the past so that you can build on it in the present. Story shot number 7, mentally strong people don't worry about pleasing everyone. Pleasing everyone can negatively impact mental strength. Suppose you worry too much about pleasing others. In that case, you should learn to make choices that align with your values and act accordingly, even if that means disappointing or upsetting others. When you accept you won't please everyone, you become stronger and build courage when you anticipate displeasing others. Story shot number 8, mentally strong people don't repeat the same mistakes. Mentally strong people don't just pick themselves up and get back on their feet. Before that, they take a moment to find out why they fell off. When you own and study your mistakes, you're less likely to slide back into your old ways. 
Experience less resistance to owning and studying a mistake you've made by imagining it was performed by someone else. Identify the factors that led to the mistake, thoughts, behaviors, and external factors. Then, write an alternative action for the next time those thoughts, behaviors, and external factors arise. Story shot number 9. Mentally strong people don't shy away from change. It's not as if some people have more willpower than others. It's just that some people are willing to adapt while others aren't. Judge Greg Mathis is an excellent example of a mentally strong person. Arrested several times as a teenager, he promised his dying mother he would change. After being released from jail on probation, he started working at McDonald's and eventually got accepted to Eastern Michigan University and later law school. However, due to his record as a criminal, he was barred from working as a lawyer. It would have been easy to let this obstacle from the past stand in his way. But Mathis was always ready for change, even when it seemed improbable. He quickly found other ways to serve the city of Detroit. After a period as the Detroit neighborhood city hall's manager, he and his wife founded a nonprofit organization. This organization helped young people find work. A few years later, he was elected a judge by the people of Detroit. Mathis' success is a testament to mentally strong people's characteristics, embracing change in your life. But how can you embrace change? The first step is to ask yourself which change you'd like to execute in your life. Think carefully about how this change would make you feel. Pay special attention to negative feelings and thoughts. Once you've learned to ignore these types of thoughts, you can create a plan for successful change. It consists of five steps. 1. Set yourself a 30-day goal. 2. Decide on concrete, daily changes in your behavior to help you reach that goal. 3. Create a list of anticipated hurdles along the way. 4. Create accountability. 5. Measure progress. Be more mindful of your feelings around change and use the five steps to prepare for change. In doing so, you'll be on your way toward your goals. Story shot number 10. Mentally strong people don't fear taking calculated risks. Don't be too afraid about what you're going to do. Every moment of your life is an experiment. The more you experiment, the better. Many people fear taking risks. You must consider life decisions and assess risks carefully. Therefore, it's essential to learn how to minimize risks and determine which risks are worth the benefits. Calculate risks by asking yourself, what are the potential costs, what are the potential benefits, how will this affect my goals? What are the alternatives? What is the best thing and the worst thing that can happen? How much will this matter in five years? If you write the answers to these questions, you can review and scrutinize them. Later, this will help you calculate the risks and reach a decision. Taking risks and stepping outside your comfort zone makes you stronger. Perhaps those risks aren't as scary as you once imagined. Additionally, begin to practice taking risks and facing your fears. Open yourself up to new opportunities and start facing your fears. Story shot number 11, mentally strong people don't give up after their first failure. Many people experience significant fear of failure. Many will avoid failure at all costs, so they fear taking risks. However, almost every success story begins with a long road of failure and perseverance. Simply put, those who succeed view their failures as stepping stones for improvement. Failure is simply a part of becoming a success and is a sign you are being challenged. Story shot number 12. Mentally strong people don't fear alone time. You are likely surrounded by noise most days. Many seek to maintain those noise levels by turning on the television. They aim to fill those uncomfortable silences, but when you fill your life with noise, you miss a powerful opportunity. Research shows that spending time alone and quietly results in renewal, rejuvenation, inspiration, and reflection. Avoid drowning your thoughts with technology or sounds. 
Instead, build your mental strength by designating 10 minutes each day to be with your emotions. During these 10 minutes, you can think about your life goals and determine if you are on track to achieve them. You can also use the opportunity to think about new goals or dreams. Adopt visualization techniques to imagine the life you want. Don't forget these thoughts by writing them all down in a journal. You can even take your mindfulness a step further and turn to meditation to become comfortable in silence. Studies have shown that meditation positively alters the brain structure by regulating cognition and emotion. Even more, meditation has been proven to positively affect those who struggle with breathing difficulties, tumors, insomnia, chronic pain, and cardiovascular diseases. Story shot number 13, Mentally Strong People Don't Expect Immediate Results A 1972 study looked at whether people succeeded in their New Year's resolutions. They found that 25% of participants had abandoned their resolutions after 15 weeks. In a similar 1989 study, that number had gone down to only one week. The underlying issue is that our goals and expectations are unrealistic. Here are a few simple rules to help you set realistic goals. Don't think that change is easy. Accept from the start that reaching your goal will be tough. You'll have a greater chance of succeeding if you simply accept it's going to be tough. Don't create a fixed deadline to reach your goal. It's healthy to have an approximate idea of when you would like to get your result, but don't make it an all-or-nothing situation. Finally, don't anticipate that achieving your goal will suddenly make your life wonderful. Sometimes improvements are well hidden, and occasionally, they even look like steps backward. For example, the author once worked with parents of young children, teaching them how to manage tantrums. The standard advice was to studiously ignore the kids when they threw themselves on the ground and started howling and kicking. Many parents initially complained. They said the tantrums were getting worse, as the children were screaming louder, making more of a fuss. But if the parents persisted in ignoring them, the tantrums inevitably improved. This example shows that it's important to be patient, stick to your goal, and keep working at it. You must maintain these actions even when you do not appreciate any progress at a given moment. Final summary and review of 13 things mentally strong people don't do. In 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do, Amy Morin draws from her personal experiences of trauma and knowledge of psychotherapy. When Amy Morin was 23, her mother suddenly died of a brain aneurysm. Three years later, her husband, age 26, suddenly died of a heart attack. Amy felt like she was sliding into a dark mental place, so she reflected on her work as a psychotherapist. She reminded herself of 13 things mentally strong people don't do. Let's go over them one by one again. Story shot number one, mentally strong people don't feel the world owes them anything. Story shot number two, mentally strong people don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. Story shot number three, mentally strong people don't resent other people's success. Story shot number four, mentally strong people don't give away their power. Story shot number 5, mentally strong people don't focus on things beyond their control. Story shot number 6, mentally strong people don't dwell on the past. Story shot number 7, mentally strong people don't worry about pleasing everyone. Story shot number 8, mentally strong people don't repeat the same mistakes. Story shot number 9, mentally strong people don't shy away from change. Story shot number 10, mentally strong people don't fear taking calculated risks. Story shot number 11, mentally strong people don't give up after their first failure. Story shot number 12, mentally strong people don't fear alone time. Story shot number 13, mentally strong people don't expect immediate results. This was the tip of the iceberg. To dive into the details and support the author, get the audiobook for free using the link in the description or the app. Did you like the lessons here? Share to show you care and don't forget to tag us on social media. You may also let us know by contacting our support at support at
We'd love to hear from you. Did you like this audiobook summary? Click the like button now to support our channel. If you don't want to miss out on new free audiobook summaries, subscribe and click the bell button. You can also download our free app and enjoy thousands of other summaries of best selling nonfiction books that are available in text, audio, and animated formats. Story Shots has been featured by Apple, Google, and The Guardian as one of the world's best reading and learning apps. Go to getstoryshots.com and download the app today.